translation. After Mother Sita entered the earth, and read into the mic. After Mother Sita entered the earth, the Lord Ramachandra observed complete celibacy and performed an interrupt, uninterrupted Agnihotra Yagya for 13,000 years. Text 19. Smaratam ridi vinyasya vidham dandaka kantakai svapada pallavam rama adma jyotir agat tata smaratam ridi vinyasya vidham dandaka kantakai Svapada Pallavam Rama Atma Jyoti Ragatata Report The lotus feet of the Lord are always a subject matter for meditation for devotees. Sometimes when Lord Ramachandra wandered in the forest of Dandakaranya, thorns pricked his lotus feet. The devotees, upon thinking of this, would faint. The Lord does not feel pain or pleasure from any action or reaction of this material world. But the devotees cannot tolerate even the pricking of the Lord's lotus feet by a thorn. This was the attitude of the gopis when they thought of Krishna wandering in the forest with pebbles and grains and sand pricking his lotus feet. This tribulation in the heart of a devotee cannot be understood by karmis, jnanis, or yogis. The devotees who could not tolerate even thinking of the Lord's lotus feet being pricked by a thorn were again put into a tribulation by thinking of the Lord's disappearance. For the Lord had, had to return to his abode after finishing his pastimes in this material world. The word Atma Jyoti is significant. The Brahma Jyoti, which is greatly appreciated by jnanis or monistic philosophers who desire to enter it for liberation, is nothing but the rays of the Lord's body. Yasya Prabha Prabhavato Jagadanda Koti Koti Shvase Shavasudhari Vibhuti Bhinnam Tad Brahma Nishkala Mananta Masesha Bhutam Govinda Mare Purusam Tamaham Bajami. I worship Govinda, the primeval Lord, who is endowed with great power. The glowing effulgence of his transcendental form is the impersonal Brahman, which is absolute, complete, and unlimited, and which displays the varieties of countless planets with their different opulences in millions and millions of universes. Subhuma so, Samhita 540. The Brahma Jyoti is the beginning of the spiritual world. And beyond the Brahma Jyoti are the Vaikuntha planets. In other words, the Brahma Jyoti stays outside the Vaikuntha planets, just as the sunshine, sunshine stays outside the sun. To enter the sun planet, one must go through the sunshine. Similarly, when the Lord or his devotees enter the Vaikuntha planets, they go through the Brahma Jyoti. The Gyanis or monistic philosophers, because of their impersonal conception of the Lord, cannot enter the Vaikuntha planets. But they also cannot stay eternally in the Brahma Jyoti. Thus, after some time, they fall again to this material world. Aruya Krichena Param Param Tata Patantyado Nadrita Yushmari Angriyaha. Bhagavatam 10 to 32. The Vaikuntha planets are covered by the Brahma Jyoti, and therefore one cannot properly understand what those Vaikuntha planets are unless one is a pure devotee. <coughs> Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare This means absolute surrender. This is meaning surrender. So when we chant Hare Krishna, the idea is that we, when we put our hands up like this, it means that we're surrendering our life and soul and everything to Krishna. So there's some uh, interesting points of discussion. Uh, too bad I don't have my glasses, then I could uh, refer to the text. But anyway, I'll try to remember what we just heard. Uh, I'm not a scholar, so I'm not going to be do, be able to do much justice to uh, uh, Sanskrit um, slokas and as such. But uh, you may remember, if you have read Ishopanasad, how it is mentioned, the devotee is praying that my dear Lord, Please remove this um, glaring effulgence, which actually is blinding our vision uh, uh, and uh, disenabling us to see the beauty of your honeymoon-like face. 
actually Krishna has a very, very, very uh, um, honeymoon-like face. It is not just a moon face. Sometimes he is called as, as uh, Chandra Mukhi, like that. But he's, he actually has a honey face, honeymoon face, full of sweetness and um, uh, uh, ever, uh, uh, let's say, delightful beauty, which enchants the hearts of persons who are fortunate enough to have his darshan. So, <clears throat> Prabhupada has, has spent uh, a considerable portion of this purport in, uh, let's say, um, uh, not exactly denouncing or decrying, but uh, <clears throat> he wants to put the things in proper perspective uh, with regard to the um, uh, plight of the impersonalist who uh, prefer to pursue spiritual life um, uh, 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 let's see, as a as a matter of um, um, a kind of subtle self gratification, uh, primarily to become uh, liberated from material existence, which they see as disadvantageous. So they think that that uh, God or or the absolute truth is nirakra, that he that he is without inequalities, without any form, without any uh, um, uh, feelings, etc. And uh, <clears throat> therefore they see, uh, or let's say they have uh, as such, at best, the adhikar to um, have uh, the access to uh, Brahman realization, or uh, Brahmananda. But Brahmananda is compared <clears throat> To a drop of happiness, uh, um, uh, in um, in comparison to the uh, ocean of happiness of Krishna Prema. So, <clears throat> Srila Prabhupada has um, pointed out in this purport how it is that Lord Ramachandra, after he finished his long-term sacrifice, that uh, that he returned to his own abode. And wanted to make it very clear uh, to all of us that Krishna does uh, exist uh, in his own abode, uh, surrounded by his uh, multifarious uh, shaktis. Parasya shakti vividaiva shuyate. The uh, Lord has multifarious potencies. And <clears throat> as mentioned in Krishna book, that Krishna himself, although we've just described how he has a honeymoon face, and how he, his face is um, enchanting and um, <clears throat> inspiring prema in the hearts of his devotees. But Prabhupada says that Krishna alone is not particularly very beautiful. He's not particularly uh, very beautiful. But when he's surrounded by his shaktis, uh, primarily Srimati Radharani uh, and her sakis, when um, uh, the devotees in pursuit of Braja Bhakti will get the um, mercy of seeing Krishna uh, in the Nikunja bowers of Braja, <clears throat> surrounded by uh, his intimate lovers, then their um, bliss is incomparable. There's no, um, there's no, uh, let's say, uh, uh, equivalent to the um, to the degree and intensity of transcendental happiness that um, the Brajbasis, primarily the Gopis of Vrindavan, and the followers of the Gopis experience in <clears throat> envisioning the transcendental sweetness of the uh, inter exchange of loving affairs between uh, Krishna. And his gopikas. So, <clears throat> um, as Prabhupada has mercifully uh, brought us from the realm of of Ramlila into the uh, into the realm of Braja, and <clears throat> to give expression. Shaisis, Nitai Gorari Sam Shri Krishna Balaram Ki Jai.
to uh, he's brought us to the realm of Braja uh, to give uh, expression to the uh, to the d degree of intensity of Vipralamba Bhav, which is experienced by the Brajbasis in their relationship with Krishna. Actually, uh, no other realm and no other form of devotion to Godhead is comparable to the love of the Brajbasis in the realm of Braja. The, uh, um, uh, the, the principle which has, been, which has been discussed is referring to uh, Lord Ramchandra's uh, um, lotus feet being pricked in the forest of Dandakaranya. Mind you, that's this forest of Dandakaranya. It's nice that uh, this uh, is mentioned here in the Bhagavatam because this uh, helps to set the scene. Sometimes we wonder why it is that we're studying uh, about uh, Ram Lila and various other Lilas, but it helps to set the scene and helps us when we finally enter into the, uh, let's see, um, uh, discussions about uh, Krishna's Raja Lila uh, and when we will have the opportunity to uh, study deeply the Goswami's literatures. Uh, then, uh, just like uh, in Hangsa Dutta, uh, one book called Hangsa Dutta, there's mention of how Krishna is in reality the embodiment of all the Das Avataram, uh, the ten incarnations of Krishna. Uh, of Krishna. Um, uh, uh, but in his own body, uh, this, these different manifestations are... are um, presenting in, in accordance with the gopis' anxieties of feelings of separation of Krishna. Um, uh, uh, I'm, I'm not able to go into the details here, but uh, the principle here I'm discussing is that <clears throat> the whole Bhagavatam is like, like a, uh, uh, you can say, a golden ring which acts as a setting for the uh, the jewel or the diamond chintamani jewel of the Brajalilas. It is meant to uh, show the uh, super excellent nature of the Brajalilas. So, uh, in this Dandakaranya forest, uh, it is uh, told that the um, uh, at one time uh, Lord Ramachandra happened upon these uh, uh, great rishi sages. They're called the uh, Dandakaranya Rishis. Um, and uh, as a result of Lord Ramchandra's blessing, these Dandakaranya Rishis became as the Munichari Gopis in Braja, with, uh, with the Adhikar for entering into Maharas and dancing with Krishna uh, uh, for the night of Brahma and ever onward. Krishna dances, Vasa dance every night. Maharas is, uh, you know, um, uh, a, uh, a less intimate form of Ras Lila, which is inclusive of the newcomers and various other uh, groups of gopis. But um, uh, in the more intimate uh, Ras Lilas of, uh, of uh, Radha and Krishna, uh, you will find that there are only the Sakis of Radha and Krishna. And the Manjari Gopis also. They're also, uh, whether uh, anyone wants to understand and accept the truth of this, uh, but in reality, in the uh, um, maidservants of Radharani, they also can dance with Krishna in the Rasa dance and do everything by the mercy of their uh, uh, Swamini. They can do everything. For the pleasure of their swamini, this is a very deep tattva. Some some uh, Vaishnavas and Babaji's in uh, in Vrindavan, they will say that it, it is never possible, that it never happens. But the real truth is is that it certainly does happen. But uh, uh, it will not be uh, a selfish affair. Uh, it will be a completely uh, uh, selfless and uh, self-giving 
uh, transaction between Krishna and Radharani's maidservants uh, simply for the pleasure of Radha. There are uh, uh, two types of uh, uh, Kamanuga Bhajan in the Raganuga line uh, mentioned uh, in Nectar of Devotion. Srila Prabhupada's Nectar of Devotion discusses it, so I guess I have a right to discuss it to a certain extent. That um, there's one type of, of um, Kamanuga Bhakti, which is called as Keli Parayana Sambhog Ichchami. Sambhog Ichchami uh, Kamanuga Bhakti. And then there is what is called Tat Tad Bhavich Chakrika Kamanuga Bhakti. And they will be followers of respectively two types of gopis. The, uh, the um, Sambhog Ichchami, that means they, Ichcha means that they have desire for Sambhog. Sambhog is not to be pleased. Don't take the word in the mundane sense. The difference between prema and kama. Atmendri priti vancha tali bale kam. Krishnendri priti itsta dare premana. Prema is the selfless desire, self giving desire to um, augment the pleasure of Krishna's senses. And kama is the selfish, self gratifying desires for one's personal sense gratification. So when we speak of sambhog in the uh, transcendental spiritual sense, it simply means that the, the gopis are going forward to meet with Krishna, to play with Krishna, to joke with Krishna, you know, and to satisfy Krishna in a myriad of transcendentally cunning ways. Uh, so <clears throat> those who have desire uh, for some bog in their relationship with Krishna, they cultivate what is called as a kind of naika bhav. Naika, you understand, naika means heroine. So as such, um, they follow in the footsteps of the naikas who are nitya parikar of Krishna or eternal associates of Krishna. Now, those who are uh, uh, coming in the category as Tattvad Bhavits Chakmika, Raganuga Bhaktas, or Kamanuga Bhaktas. I think it's important to discuss this because, after all, uh, at least to a certain extent, we can't go in depth in, in the public forum, but it is important to understand the principles uh, not only of Sambandha Tattva. Sam Sambandha Tattva Jnana is for the purpose of establishing Krishna Stu Bhagavan Swayam. Uh, that Krishna is Swayam Bhagavan. When we say Swayam Bhagavan, it means Brajanda Nandan Krishna, please. Swayam Rup Krishna. No one else is Swayam. Swayam means original. So the origin of all other manifestations of Krishna is Swayam Rup Krishna. The sages of Dandakaranya, they had been initiated by Narada Muni into the Gopal Mantra, and they were constantly absorbed in the pursuit of their. Uh, Ishta Devata, their paramour, Brajanda uh, Nandan Krishna. When they saw Ramachandra in Dandakaranya, they were appreciating that if this expanded form of Godhead uh, is so beautiful and enchanting, then how enchanting our Brajanda Nandan Krishna must be. So that uh, augmented uh, their anxiety for meeting Krishna. It increased their purvarag for meeting Krishna. And uh, um, by, as I mentioned, by the blessings of Ramchandra, they were able to take their birth and directly associate with Brajendanan and Krishna. Our charges have pointed out, um, I hope I don't say anything which makes anybody angry, but uh, nevertheless, I'm going to pursue, uh, proceed, and uh, beg for the forgiveness 
of anyone who might uh, feel uh, unhappy about anything that I'm saying. Uh, but I feel that it's uh, important to discuss since I'm here. If I wasn't here, I wouldn't be discussing it. But somehow or other, by Christmas arrangement, I'm sitting here. So I'm discussing that um, uh, our charges have made the point, and it's a very important point for us to understand in the matter of cultivating Sambandha Tatvigyan, what to speak of understanding the principle of Prayojan. It is absolutely nece- necessary to cultivate Sambandha Tatvigyan so that we don't deviate our attention to other objectives in the pursuit of our spiritual perfection. Um, but we should also understand the Prayojan city. We should understand what is the goal. Otherwise, what is the use of our pursuit? Abhideya Tattva is for uh, establishing us in the proper, um, uh, let's say, pursuit of the Siddhanta by the uh, m- uh, m- necessary m- activities of devotional practices. Uh, but um, m- uh, we have to know uh, what is the goal of all of our practices in order to take inspiration more and more. Uh, Srila Prabhupada, in Science of Self-Realization, in his, uh, um, in his uh, description or his um, discussion on this Jairada Madhava song, he is told that the purpose of this International Society for Krishna Consciousness is to give everyone a chance to become gopi janas but uh, of course that is not to say that this international society for krishna consciousness is not meant to facilitate the uh, the pursuit of other bhavas you know Prabhupada in the very next paragraph in his discussion says that this krishna consciousness movement can enable everyone to become um, uh, eternal associates of Krishna as uh, father and mother, as friends of Krishna, and as servants of Krishna. So he says this Krishna consciousness movement. So when we discuss, just like sometimes um, you may have noticed, if, uh, I'm sure that m- m- most of you have come in contact with a list of our Acharya Parampara, which will give the m- Manjari Siddhadeha of each Acharya. We should not be disturbed by this uh, if we have any other bhava. But we should understand the purpose in showing this is to encourage those who desire the Madhurya Ras, which is considered analytically as the most intense form of uh, bhakti bhavana by Rupa Goswami himself. After all, we do follow the teachings of Rupa Goswami, so we have to consider these points <laughs> also. <clears throat> that uh, it is meant to encourage to say that uh, if you want to uh, enter into the a- eternal um, uh, intimate services of Radha and Krishna, uh, if you want to assist in the Nikunja Sevas, uh, then uh, it is available here. You don't have to go anywhere else. The bug stops here. You can have it here. You can have it by the grace of A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami. You can have it, you know, uh, at the feet of Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur. You don't have to go uh, to um, um, the um, the Babaji's and the uh, various other uh, uh, Nimbarkis and others. Not that we want to, we're not deprecating uh, their attachment to their particular path uh, <clears throat> so much so as we're saying that when you have everything uh, at your disposal, uh, why uh, think that the grass is greener on the other side of the fence, like a, uh, a, a horse or a cow, you know? Everything is here. Prabhupada has given everything. So <clears throat> it is important to understand that, as I was uh, beginning to discuss, I, unfortunately we don't have much time, but uh, 
<clears throat> our charges have made this point. Our charge, our charge of particularly means Srila Prabhupada has made this point, reiterating the statements of our predecessor charges that <clears throat> Swayam Rup Krishna, the lover of Radharani, the friend of Subal, the darling son of Nanda Yasoda, this Swayam Rup Krishna, he is the only 100%, 100%. Uh, absolutely complete personality of Godhead. All others, all other expansions, even up to the Swayam Prakash manifestations who danced with the other gopis in Maharas, in Krishna Bhavanamrita, it is described that there are two different things which happen during Maharas. Sometimes, or during Raslila, sometimes Krishna expands his Swayam Prakash manifestations to stand by the side of uh, each gopi. And each gopi is thinking that she is with Krishna alone. Of course, she is not seeing that Krishna is standing, the Swayam Rup Krishna is standing with Radhika. He does, she, they don't see. <coughs> um, uh, rather, uh, those who are in the, let's say, competitor camps, and they would prefer not to think that Radhika <laughs> is the cause of their success. <laughs> At least uh, sometimes it, it, sometimes they acknowledge, but most of the time uh, they have uh, uh, a different mood. Um, they want to think of their, at least their Sakis want to think of their um, individual group leaders' um, personal qualifications. Um, but um, um, in any case, sometimes Krishna expands and sometimes <clears throat> he's uh, going like a uh, firebrand, dancing so quickly in the midst of the gopis that no one can understand when he's coming and when he's leaving their company. So uh, in, in these instances, these are very, this is usually an occurrence in the more intimate Rasalilas where Krishna uh, um, excuse me, where Radha is making the arrangements for all of her Sakis to associate with her Swayam Rup Krishna and get the experience of Swayam Rup Krishna. So in any case, Srila Prabhupada is mentioned like this, and our charges, particularly Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he advocates that therefore, because the other manifestations up to the uh, Swayam Prakash manifestations as we've explained, which danced with the uh, gopis separately, uh, they have only up to 93% of the completeness of the beauty and sweetness of Swayam Rup Krishna. Therefore, our charges, they advocate that we should focus our attention on the service of Radha Krishna. Because that Krishna who is with Radharani is the cent percent 100% personality of God. So, uh, um, um, if we take heed, just like um, Subal, it is mentioned, of course, we understand that all the rasas in Brajma are meant to enhance uh, Radhan Krishna's uh, Madhurya uh, Lilas in the realm of Braja. They are all meant to, <clears throat> in various ways, uh, increase the uh, experience of Vipralamba in the heart of Radha and Krishna and in the heart of their devotees also. Uh, our Siddhanta, our philosophy, is in pursuit of Vipralamba Mai Radha Krishna Lila. Uh, this is the prerogative of the Gaudiya Sampradaya. The Nimbarka Sampradaya also preach Radha Krishna Bhakti, but their Radha Krishna is Sambhog Mai. Uh, they prefer to worship Radha Krishna in Swakya Ras, but we prefer to worship Radha Krishna in the Parakya Ras. And uh, without getting into too much detailed discussion, as it's almost nine o'clock already, and I was told that I should at least stop before 12, so we, we, <laughs> we, we, we cannot discuss at length. But it, it should be noted that, uh, that this Vipralambamai Radha Krishna Lila, 
is the topmost aspect of Radha and Krishna Lila. I was speaking with one Nimbarki, who, uh, one Nimbarka Charja, who was telling me that what is the use of Vipralamba? Because <clears throat> the Ananda experience in the dealings of Radha and Krishna in the Nitinakunj Bihar, which is the goal of the Nimbarkis, um, they, uh, they want to go to a realm where there is no question of Vipralamba. They say that Vipralamba is particular. Particular means it is against the pleasure of Radha and Krishna, that they're not happy with the Vipralamba. Uh, so therefore, why, why uh, let's say, impede their happiness? Why, uh, let's say, uh, uh, create, uh, let's say, um, uh, distress in their heart? Uh, so this, um, this can be likened uh, to the uh, immature disciple who is unable to understand the chastisement of his guru. Because the disciple is not able to understand the chastisement of his guru. He doesn't understand that the chastisement is for increasing the intensity of his and his adhikar, you know, to serve Radha and Krishna to, uh, on, on a higher and higher platform of perfection. So, um, in the Nimbark philosophy, their goal is to enter into a realm where there is no Madhya Soda, there is no uh, Ananda Baba, there, uh, there is no Subha, there is no Madha Mangala, there are no cows even. Although it's on the Golok planet, there are no cows. They, there is a realm for them, but uh, <clears throat> there may be peacocks and some parrots and some trees and creepers and um, uh, things like that, uh, uh, which will not uh, uh, let's say, distract Krishna from his association with Radha and her Sakis. There's no Chandravali. There's no, there, there are no competitors. There's only Radha, Krishna, and Radharani Sakis and maidservant, you know. And that is called Nitya Nikunj. In that realm, uh, there is only what is called Sambhogras. There's no Vipralambaras. And the attitude is of Swakya. Krishna is uh, uh, eternally uh, associated, you know, in, uh, in the mood of being, of, of belonging to each other. Swakya means one's own, belonging to oneself. So, um, but in, in, in uh, uh, this can be understood um, uh, that, uh, that because uh, he, he was saying, uh, this uh, Nimbarkacharya was telling me, that what is the need of Vipralamba because <clears throat> in the Nitya Kunj, the Ananda, is eternally ever increasing anyway. So, what is the need for Vipralamba to increase the uh, the uh, the intensity of, of of the Ananda? Which is a, sounds like a very good question. But our answer is that there is eternally ever increasing. There's more eternally ever increasing, and there's most eternally ever increasing. So, in this way, we can understand uh, the the uh, contribution of the Gaudiya Sampradaya. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who was directly uh, Krishna himself, came to relish uh, the topmost aspect of Radharani's Vipralambamai, um, let's say, experiences. Radharani certainly has other, even uh, in the Golok planet, on the Golok planet, <clears throat> there's the realm of Braja, which is the most extensive realm, but there are other sectors as well, uh, and, and where there is this Nitini uh, Kunj Bihar going on, there's the realm of, there are different Sweta Dweeps also. <clears throat> the realm of Dwarka is there, and the realm of uh, <clears throat> Mathura, um, Mathura, Dwarka, and outside the realm of Dwarka, on the perimeters of the Golok planet, is what is called as uh, Golok Rindavan or Vaikuntha Vrindavan, where Radha and Krishna is worshipped in majesty, awe and reverence, as we do in our, you can say, beginning stages. Those who don't go, be, go beyond the worship of Radha and Krishna in the mood of Lakshmi Narayan, they will attain this realm of Vaikuntha Vrindavan on the Golok Vrindavan planet, where the uh, reverential worship or majestic worship of Krishna is going on. Bhaktivinoda Thakur has told, don't mind me saying, 
But if we don't have, if we've not gone that far, then we should understand that we have not so much to be so proud about um, in, in the matter of our progress in devotional life. Bhaktivinoda Thakur says that even if one is residing in this Brajabhumi, even if he is doing the Radha Krishna worship, worshipping the Radha Krishna Vigraha in the land of Brajabhumi, but if he is doing so without his Siddhadeha, then he will not attain Braja. Rather, he will attain the maid service of Rukmini and Dwarka, or he will enter into the realm of Vaikuntha. Vaikuntha meaning Vaikuntha Vrindavan. But he will not, he will not uh, 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 be able to enter into the realm of... Mind you, I'm not uh, uh, purposely preaching um, Rag Bhajan, but we should, under- we should understand that in due course of time, as our enchantment for the, uh, let's say, sweetness of Krishna Leela, as is being discussed here um, by Srila Prabhupada's grace, um, this, um, this enchantment will um, gradually uh, cause us to uh, inquire more and more deeply into the tattvas and into the, the actual need and the actual uh, necessary priyogen, the process by which one can actually enter into the, the uh, realm, which is the goal of the Godis. The Godi, the, uh, for the most part, the Godi of Vaishnavas aspire to Brajalila. And to enter into Brajalila, if anyone has read Chaitanya Charitamrita, you can know it very well that by cultivating the Vaidhi Bhakti alone, without enhancing his inner heart's desires and appreciation um, for the attitude of loving service in their feelings of separation from Krishna, of the Brajvasis, primarily the Brajagopis, that um, if we will not go, go uh, allow ourselves to appreciate and try to catch up this mood, which is nothing but the very mood of unalloyed devotion that Srila Prabhupada wants every one of us to have. <clears throat> Srila Prabhupada wants to give us all these things. No doubt. We have to upgrade our adhikar for having access to the things. When we will upgrade our adhikar, then with our own eyes, we will see everything in the Bhaktivedanta purports. It's a question of our adhikar. Everything is there. Just like here in this purport, if you will recall, Srila Prabhupada is mentioning how <clears throat> the gopis are crying and crying on account of thinking of the worst. How Krishna's soft, delicate lotus feet, which they dare to even place, place on their hard breast, let's say hardened breast, breasts are hard because there's the, the, the deep feelings of, let's say, uh, transcendental amorous love for Krishna. <clears throat> so, but they dare to place his soft lotus feet on their uh, breast. But, um, they're, so they're thinking that how is it possible that uh, uh, he could uh, consider uh, in reality, even though our, even though, uh, let's say, it, uh, we, we fear uh, that his um, feet may be um, um, uh, discomforted, discomforted <clears throat> by placing them there, <clears throat> but <clears throat> it could not be nearly as, uh, let's say, painful for him as his traversing the forest path in our separation. Uh, to be real, <clears throat> we should understand that in Bhagavatam, <clears throat> this line where they're expressing that how his soft lotus feet must be pricked by the, tharp, the, the sharp thorns and <clears throat> the um, pebbles uh, on the braja um, <clears throat> footpaths. But we should know that, first of all, um, Krishna has explained um, in Bhavanamrita also that <clears throat> the Chamari deer, with their uh, big tails, they 
are always sweeping the paths for the pleasure of Krishna. There's no question of sharp stones and uh, thorns and brambles on the forest path. Furthermore, you never hear the gopis complaining uh, uh, and, uh, or expressing uh, intense pain of the prospect of Krishna's feet being pricked um, um, on the forest paths when he's with them, wandering through the forest. You never see that. It, so it should, be, it should be understood that such an expression is an expression of their intense vipralamba. It's an expression of their intense feelings of separation from Krishna. That my dear Krishna, because remember, this, this expression was given, <clears throat> it, was, it, it was told <clears throat> at the time when Krishna had disappeared from their midst. And they're, <clears throat> they're uh, praying and uh, um, uh, begging Krishna again and again in various ways of uh, supplication to uh, please, again, kindly condescend to make your appearance in our midst, not because we want to ratify ourselves in your company, <clears throat> because our hearts are pained. You think that what they're really trying to say is that you think that your, <laughs> uh, your feet are, are pricked here and there, uh, but, <clears throat> but you should think of how our hearts are pained. And actually, Krishna is thinking of how their hearts are pained. That's why he makes his reappearance in their midst. He's not reappearing in, the, in their midst for his self-gratification, but he's reappearing as a reciprocation uh, on the basis of a mutual desire to, to uh, let's say, selflessly satisfy each other. And that is the meaning of unalloyed devotion. That is the meaning of Braja Bhakti. Braja Bhakti, just like to give an example <clears throat> of the distinction of, of two different realms. In Dwarka, Rukmini Devi, She's sleeping with Krishna, no doubt. You can read about it. Um, I'm, I don't know if I've ever discussed this publicly or not, but we, 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 we've, uh, we've, you can read about it in the chapter in Krishna book, uh, Krishna's daily pastimes, daily activities. So <clears throat> the cock crows, and Rukmini is condemning the cock, saying, oh, why does the night have to end? And Krishna is, is, is uh, uh, getting up from uh, the bed, uh, releasing himself from Rukmini's embrace, and he's <coughs> um, uh, 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 going about his daily activities, meditating on himself, and then um, entering into the Sudharma assembly house. He, uh, let's say, all the expansions of Krishna merge into one <coughs> to enter into the assembly house. So we should understand that the uh, <coughs> What is the cause of the expression of Rukmini? Rukmini, she has, let's say, uh, the desire to uh, satisfy her own, uh, let's say, she has, she has desires for self-satisfaction mixed into her desires for pleasing Krishna. It is mentioned by our charges that approximately 50-50 uh, are the desires of the queens of Dwarka for uh, satisfying themselves and satisfying Krishna. Because there's an admixture of the desire to see her husband, Krishna condescends to satisfy her desires by sleeping with her as her husband. <clears throat> and when she's uh, hearing the cock crow, the, uh, it, it, it will be the, the disgust which is expressed will also be in terms, to a large extent, uh, it will be in terms of her uh, uh, feelings of uh, distress on account of uh, her self-satisfactions being interrupted. So Krishna condescends to fulfill her desires. But look at the difference between this example and the example of Srimati Radharani. Radharani also sleeps with Krishna in Parakira, but she has no desire to sleep with Krishna. She has no desire to see Krishna for her self-gratifying purposes or for her self-satisfaction. But rather, uh, also is mentioned how, uh, how the um, uh, cock is crowing 
in, in at uh, when uh, uh, Radha and Krishna are at Nidivan in the Nishant Lila, Radha and Krishna are uh, um, uh, uh, to, together in their embrace, and the cock is crowing, and and Radharani is telling them to, to go and coo in hell. You see, Rukmini was telling them to go to hell also, but and Radharani is telling them to go to hell. But her purpose is in telling them to go to hell, and Rukmini's purposes are different. Her purpose is in telling them to go to hell is that why are you interrupting Krishna's pleasure in meeting with me? She has no desire to sleep with Krishna. But Krishna has a desire to sleep with her, and she condescends to fulfill Krishna's desire. It is quite different. It's looking the same. Just like Srila Prophet has made the point in one purport, he says, it is not what we do, but it's the attitude with which we do whatever we're doing. Just like Kubja is also, she also uh, sports with Krishna. But her mood is what is called Kama Praya. Her mood is the mood uh, which is nearly, uh, uh, let's say, verging on mundane lust. It is similar to the Gopi's Prema, but it is merely verging on mundane lust. Uh, she is uh, Kupcha is considered to be the personification of the Purusha Shakti of Krishna. That Purusha Shakti of Krishna acts in this material world to, uh, say, um, <clears throat> cause every jiva to experience this Purusha Bhav. So, <clears throat> in the purport, uh, incidentally, it is mentioned there how um, Prabhupada mentions how it is that because Kupcha was asking Krishna, please, to remain with her, not to leave immediately, remain for some and enjoy with her. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> it, uh, Krishna politely pointed out to her that it would not be possible. In the purport, Srila Prabhupada mentions how it is <clears throat> that because Krishna, uh, uh, Krishna's, um, let's say, mundane realm, or so-called mundane realm of this material cosmos, uh, it is vyakta and avyakta. So it is having its manifestation and uh, dissolution. <clears throat> so it is not possible for him to remain uh, in this material world, indicating <clears throat> that this Purusha Shakti of Krishna, just like the Mahamaya Shakti, is only manifested within this material realm. So similarly, this Purusha Shakti is uh, a, a Shakti which is active in the material realm only. So as such, Kubja will be able to meet with Krishna intermittently when there is the manifestation of the of, of the cosmos uh, during the prakat lilas uh, excuse me prakrita lilas of Krishna uh, in in the uh, on the earthly planet <clears throat> so <clears throat> in the purport Srila Prabhupada mentions that <clears throat> a devotee uh, especially those who are <clears throat> uh, de desirous of uh, let's see, the uh, conjugal ras with Krishna, those who are desirous of the conjugal ras of Krishna, uh, but he said devotees, especially them, so it means all devotees, actually, that it does not do very well for them to think in terms of being the enjoyer of Krishna. Uh, because actually Krishna is the enjoyer. To the extent we realize that, to the extent that we give up the, uh, let's say, self-centeredness, to that extent, we qualify ourselves to enter into the topmost realm of Braja and experience the topmost bliss, the topmost happiness of rendering, uh, say, uh, ever-increasing self-giving, uh, selfless means that we have no interest for ourselves, um, but rather we only desire the happiness of Krishna. This principle has to be understood. Without understanding this principle, then how it is that we can, you know, enter into the more esoteric principles uh, in terms of the, <clears throat> let's say, uh, uh, the details of Braja Bhakti by following in the footsteps of any particular um, associate of Krishna uh, whom we choose by our own hearts, uh, let's say, uh, uh, inclination to follow. But we have to understand the, at least the basics. <clears throat> Just like sometimes it is said some devotees or some uh, Vaishnavas here in Braja, they want to say that 
Actually, Srila Prabhupada preached uh, this, uh, <clears throat> the, the mood of Prahlad. Um, uh, but uh, uh, it may look like that. Sometimes it is seen that, they, uh, uh, that Prabhupada and even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, at Toda Gopinath, when he was hearing from, uh, uh, from Gadadhar Pandit Bhagwat, uh, it is also seen that he was relishing this uh, Prahlad Shiksha and the pastimes of Dhruva Maharaj, etc. It is seen. But we have to see what is the, the Andhra Bhavana. How uh, uh, Mahaprabhu, he was not relishing in the mood of Prahlad in actuality, but he was taking this jiksha and applying it to his own, to augment his own um, uh, uh, relish of, uh, of, of uh, let's see, um, approach to Krishna. Mahaprabhu had this taiva. So similarly, See, the prophet also has his taiva, or his constant uh, flow of ecstasy. When it is seen that uh, he is uh, uh, advocating or, uh, let's say, giving stress to Prahlad Shiksha, what he really wants to say is that if you cannot see the principle of compassion, because the uh, Babaji's in particular, many of them, I'm not going to, I don't want to overgeneralize because <clears throat> that sometimes is a mistake. Um, be, uh, because um, Prabhupada is mentioned, just like uh, he, he's told to Mother Daivi Shakti, I guess she's left, but uh, uh, that uh, these uh, Babas at Bhagwat Nivas, just uh, a few minutes down the road, where it, um, it is uh, m- uh, said by uh, m- uh, many authorities in Braja that Raghunath Das Goswami's um, uh, uh, um, Govardhan Shila is situated there. Uh, <clears throat> That the uh, yeah, Prophet said that these Babajis are bona fide Akinshana above. They should be respected as bona fide Akinshana Babajis. So there are bona fide Akinshana Babajis in Braja. But <clears throat> many of these uh, Babajis, they decry preaching. They're so much bent on preaching about not preaching uh, to the point where they will say that, <clears throat> that we are, uh, let's say, we advocate, we're interested in, in Gopi Prema. And therefore, we're only interested in, in uh, let's say, cultivating the, the rag bhajan. Uh, um, uh, uh, and we have no interest in uh, this uh, preaching business, which is in the mood of Prahlad. But I dare say to all of them who will be thinking like this, that Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakpur and our Srila Prabhupada, they have made this point very, it's a very sanguine point and very uh, important point that if you cannot see the principle and appreciate the principle of compassion as it is exhibited in an elementary form as Pallad, then how can we accept that you're actually seeing the principle of compassion as it is truly manifested in a superlative form in the Gopis? How can we accept this? First things first. First, understand A, B, C, D. Then when you actually understand that, then you graduate to the upper class, you see. So Prabhupada has given, uh, uh, let's say, <clears throat> it, may be, it, it, it may be mistaken by some uh, unfortunate personalities that Prabhupada has given uh, Vaidhi Bhakti. Actually, Prabhupada has given the whole thing. But uh, uh, he requires us to gradually upgrade our uh, transcendental intelligence by which we can enter into relishing the thing as it is. And that requires that we at least at first understand the principle of compassion upon the fallen conditioned souls. After all, it wasn't Prahlad that inaugurated the Sankirtan movement. It was Krishna in the mood of Radha. His external purposes were not uh, separate from the fulfillment of his imp- internal uh, desires to relish Radha Bhav. If, if we don't understand, if we try to separate the external purpose from the internal purpose, <clears throat> in the purport of Chaitanya, Mahap- uh, Chaitanya uh, Charitamrita, Prabhupada is told how it is that <clears throat> Radharani and her sakis 
uh, experience 10 million times the happiness of their own happiness of personally meeting Krishna by making the arrangements for each other to meet, to make arrangements for others to meet with Krishna. This Sankirtan movement of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is for the purpose of <clears throat> uh, facilitating the experience of that kind of Gopiva, the experience of 10 million times the happiness of their happiness of personally meeting Krishna by making the arrangements for others to meet with Krishna. Uh, one time, Srila Prabhupada uh, wrote a letter to Rameshwar, bless his heart, uh, and that uh, mm, uh, to confirm that yes, uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, 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 your understanding or your idea that this book distribution is uh, uh, following in the mood of the gopis is quite correct. Because it is, uh, it, the, the principle is uh, that what is self-realization? Self-realization means to realize what we actually are. If we can't realize what we actually are, then how are we self-realized? So what are we? What is jiva? Uh, it is mentioned. What is Radha? What is Ladini Shakti? Ladini Shakti is a manifestation. Radha, it is mentioned by Rupa Goswami that Radha is the personification of Krishna's com compassionate nature. She is Karuna Moy. She is the embodiment of Karuna Shakti, which is non different from Ladini Shakti. So, <clears throat> the, uh, 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 as such, uh, this compassionate nature, which is exhibited by Radharani and the expanded forms of Radharani. Mind you, Radha is Mu Prakriti. She's the root of all other manifestations of Prakriti. So we have to conclude that ultimately, even though it may be said <clears throat> that some jivas are expanded from Balaram, some jivas are expanded from Krishna, some jivas are expanded from Radha, some jivas are expanded from Shankarshan, from Mahavishnu, like this. But we should understand <clears throat> that as Radha is Mu Prakriti, therefore, uh, um, as Prabhupada has mentioned in several places, that the jiva is part and parcel of the pleasure potency of Krishna. And as such, it is the nature of the jiva to be compassionate. Without understanding the principle of compassion, without realizing ourself as part and parcel of the compassionate nature of Krishna, then how can we claim to be self-realized? You see, so it is is very essential. Uh, the, the the elementary form is 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 given to us uh, uh, in the beginning. At least see this to isolate the principle, because Prahlad, uh, uh, it may not be so easy to understand the principle uh, in in the example of the gopis or uh, devotees of the higher nature, the higher realm, uh, because it, it it is more subtle. But, but in, in the nature, in, in the um, uh, um, nature of Pallad, though, it is a easily isolatable uh, principle which can be easily observed by everyone in order to impress this point. So, it, it, um, uh, therefore, anyway, I'm carrying on. I shouldn't carry on like this. I'm sorry for. Um, uh, I hope I'm not keeping you, but it's already almost 9:30, you know, and everyone will be missing prasadam and all these things. After, but uh, it's Purushottam Bra, Mas, so beginning of Purushottam Mas. Anyways, this is an important thing. So, what is preaching? Preaching is the expression of the very compassionate nature, which is the the essence of of Gopi Bhav or Gopa Bhav or any Bhav in the realm of Brajan. Is the very essence, you know. So, so when we say preaching is the essence, it is quite correct. Because preaching is is is, is uh, uh, let's say the uh, let's say the um, the the uh, means and the end um, of, of the express uh, of let's say acquiring the uh, acquire uh, for acquiring and giving a proper expression, you know, to the the pure compassionate nature of of uh, which is the mainstay of Rajabhakti. So I guess we should stop there. If there's, if there's any discussion or questions, I don't know if you want to go any further with this. Anyone want to discuss anything before we close? I hope I've not uh, disappointed all of you too much. Uh, and if I I don't make it a habit of sitting here, so you don't have to hear these things too often.
Hare Krishna. Yes, you, you want to see? Yeah, people, it's huh? That could be a, a long discussion, but we won't make it too long. If 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 we want, if if we should, yeah. You know, the the importance of Purushottam Mas is because Radha and Krishna are the presiding deities uh, of Purushottam Mas. Is to be understood by honoring their month, you attain Golok Dham. In a nutshell, um, 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 by by intensifying your sadhana, ma- 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 bathing in Yamuna, uh, uh, Radhakund is also there. You know, uh, offering uh, uh, um, ghee lamps daily. It should be a daily vrat to offer ghee lamps. I mentioned yesterday that that you get the the benefit of offering ten million ghee lamps uh, by lighting it with a tulsi stick. With a with a dry Tulsi stick, please, from a dead Tulsi plant, not from, not using. Uh, don't take a stick from a, a green uh, Tulsi, uh, a live Tulsi plant like that, you know. And doing prakram, uh, uh, taking darshan of Govardhan Hill as many times as possible, you know. There's uh, unlimited benefit. It is mentioned, ye sham puntakatha pavam jananam punya karmanam ye dvanva moha nirmukta bajante mam dridavrata. We should know that our goal is Krishna Prema. As we explain, what is Prema? Prema is for the pleasure of Krishna, to uh, to endeavor to satisfy Krishna. So, uh, to satisfy Krishna, there should be some dhrita vrata in our bhajan. Dhrita vrata means a strong determination, a strong vow, determined vow. Bhajante mam, wor- worshiping me. So, uh, in order to actually worship Krishna, uh, what is what is a determined vow? A determined vow means that um, that we will not be deviating. It is only by undivided devotional service that you can understand Krishna as he is. It is only by undivided devotional service. That means, um, um, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, I forget it. Yeah. I forget the verse. It's slipping my mind. But, um, <clears throat> Uh, that uh, um, sagunan samati taitan brahma bhuyaya kalpate. To come to the spiritual platform, one has to do undivided devotional service by which you can actually understand Krishna's janmas and karmas in truth. You know, then you go back home, back to God here. So, um, this undivided devotional service means ye dvanva moha nirmukta. Ye dvanva moha nirmukta means that you will not see that there is any, there's no duality. The illusion or the delusion of thinking that there that something is favorable and uh, one circumstance is favorable for worshiping Krishna and another circumstance is not not favorable for worshiping Krishna. Actually, all circumstances are favorable for worshiping Krishna because the environment is always friendly, even if it appears to be an adversity. It is also favorable for taking shelter of Krishna and worshiping Krishna. So one can always. Uh, worship Krishna in all circumstances with a firm determination when he's when he goes beyond this dualistic conception of happiness and distress as a uh, let's say a criterion for for considering uh, whether uh, it is possible to worship Krishna or not. You see, so one can come to this uh, uh, this position of coming going beyond a, a duality if one is uh, yeah, let's say. Freed from yesham tantakatha papam, freed from sinful reactions, and jananam punya karmanam. This punya karmanam means the same punya karmanam, kritta punja punya, as we were expressing yesterday. Kritta punja punya means heaps and piles of pious activities by which one gains the facility for of of actually playing with Krishna, dancing with Krishna, you know, in 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 his eternal pastimes. You see, so it is it is essential. No matter who we are, no matter uh, what is our condition, what is our position, uh, that <clears throat> we can we can always take advantage of of, of the uh, this kind of facility like Purushottam Vrat or Ekadasi Vrat. Even um, we were mentioning how a monkey uh, attained Golok Dham even by unknowingly uh, uh, observing Purushottam by fasting and taking holy bath. So. Um, by unknow- if by unknowingly 
you can attain Golok Dham. It doesn't say which which uh, sector of Golok Dham he attained. But um, if we, you can understand that if if by uh, uh, um, uh, unknowingly you can attain Golok Dham, then what to speak of if we're actually cultivating, you know, uh, the the desires to uh, to enter in into uh, the realm of Vraja, or etc. So uh, this Purushottam Vrat, it is good for all. Uh, and, and if uh, if you're uh, um, having uh, uh, the guru problems and the um, let's say uh, let's say uh, steadiness of mind problems or any such kinds of problems that may be manifesting, uh, we should understand why it is that these problems are coming. It's not happening by chance. Any such problems will be coming because <clears throat> of our previous samskars, our previous uh, our poor, uh, our purva samskar, our our uh, let's say previous degree of accumulation of sukriti, by which our uh, let's say our transcendental intelligence is uh, gradually uh, in, in, increased uh, with birth after birth, jananam punya karmanam, birth after birth. So uh, we're not in our last birth now. Uh, and we're not in our future birth now. We're in this birth now. And in this birth now, uh, we can, there's so many things we can do by which we can increase our sukriti. And what is the purpose of increasing our sukriti? There's a gyata sukriti, just like the monkey example. He was, uh, um, uh, he fell into the water accidentally and drowned in the water, uh, in, in a holy place. Um, and he attained golo because he, it so happened he did that during Purushottamas. You see, um, so Agatha Sukriti is there, but uh, higher than Agatha Sukriti is Gata Sukriti. Gata Sukriti means to accumulate Sukriti by doing transcendentally pious activities knowingly. You know that it's good. No one's stopping you from circumambulating Tulsi Devi. No one's stopping you from uh, from from uh, watering Tulsi Devi. Tulsi Devi can give you prema. Every death grain of Vrindavan can give you prema. Govardhan Hill can give you prema. You moon, you know. So, but uh, if you don't have tears to offer to Yamuna Devi, then take some water from her and offer at least your own tears. Uh, if, 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 uh, if her water is undoubtedly liquid, liquid prema, but best is if you can offer something from your side. You offer your, your tears of anxiety. That uh, how will I uh, progress to the ultimate goal of my life? At least crying because we can't cry for Krishna. You know, watering Tulsi Devi with your tears. Who's doing that? Who's stopping you from doing it? You see, who's, who's stopping you from crying at the feet of Govardhan? Who's, who's stopping you? You know, so don't bathe in Radha Kun, but offer your tears. Who's stopping you? No one's stopping anyone. Who's stopping you from chanting at least one lakh nam daily? No one's stopping you. It's a question of the ischa. Krishnendriya priti ischa. There should be some desire. You know, if you want to go back home, back to Godhead, then uh, uh, why take the difficult course? This is, this is the easy course. If something is, 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 uh, is being given away practically for free, then why work like a dog? Go and get it. Come to Braja. Just like in the, in the Kartik Mahatmya, it is, it is, it is mentioned and, and excuse me, and, and, and it is, uh, recorded in Mathura Mahatmya. Also, the Kartik Mahatmya is recorded in Mathura Mahatmya by Rupa Goswami. He says that Kartik month comes every year. Of course, Purushottamas comes every three years, but this principle is the same. Kartik month comes every year and Braja Dham is not difficult to attain in this world. It's not like you have to do some interplanetary travel to get here, <clears throat> especially those who are born in India, you know, but how many people are coming to Vraja? You know, it's not so difficult. There are airplanes. Modern amenities have made it so easy. Uh, so uh, 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 Krishna's statement in the Kartik Mahadmya uh, is more, more, even more applicable in this age of Kali. He says Vraja, uh, uh, the Kartik comes every year. Vraja is not difficult to attain in this world. Still, the fools rot in the world of birth and death because they don't come to Braja during Karti. Similarly, they don't come to Braja during... Why? Why not come? Why not do Purushottam Brat? It is a very simple thing. Uh, who's stopping anyone from coming and offering a lamp to the deity? 
think the old folks are doing it? You think that they don't know what they're doing? You know, but we're too embarrassed or something. Somehow we think that, uh, oh, I can't, uh, I, everyone will be looking at me you know, thinking that I, I'm trying to show myself to be such a bhakta, you know, or something stupid like this, you know. If you know what's good for you, do it, you know, and pray to Krishna, you know, to please be merciful to me and take me to your lotus feet. That's all. Okay. Hare Krishna. Jai Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai.